What's up guys, here is Shahin. Hello and welcome to my new Photoshop tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to create a text effect where the text is embossed into a cloth material. All right, let's start. First we open our Photoshop and create a new document by pressing Command N or Strike N. Or we just go up here to File, New. And let's keep the dimensions simple like 800 pixels for width, 600 pixels for height. Resolution, color mode and background color are all right like that. And let's create. All right, now we have our document. And first, let's create a cloth background. For that, we use a so-called fill-in adjustment layer. And that can be found down here. And now here, let's choose a cloth or cotton material, it's here. All right, and confirm. We can delete this, we don't need this anymore. And to have a more comfortable workflow, let's lock this layer so that it's not accidentally selected during our workflow. All right, and now let's create the text content by choosing the text tool. And as a font, I choose the brush script medium. And for text size, let's choose 400 points. And the text color can stay like that. And now let's click him on the left area here and write cloth. Okay, and confirm. And we see it's not centered. And to do that, we select the entire document by pressing Command A or Strike A, or just go up here to Select and All. And the dashed lines show that there's a selection. And then we go up here to the Move tool and align it horizontal here and vertical here. There you go. Now it's centered and we can Cancel the selection by pressing Command D or Strike D or just go up here to select and deselect. All right, now we add effects or so-called blending options to this layer. And these blending options can be found down here. All right, and the first effect we add is the Babylon Emboss. All right, here you go. And now let's adjust the values here to make it look more like an embossing. And to do that, we start from the top we change the style to Auto Bevel, smooth OK like that. And for the depth, let's increase it to 350. And direction goes down, size 4 and soften 10. All right, and then let's change the shading. And first uncheck to use global light and change the angle to 45 degrees. And then we go here now to Contour, click here. We click Anti-Allies to make the contour more smooth. And let's decrease it to 25%. And then we go to Texture here, All right? And we decrease the scale to, let's say, 40%. And there you go. The edge is now smaller and more sharp. And for Depth, let's decrease it to Minus five. All right, and that's it now for Bevel and Emboss. And the next effect we add is now the gradient overlay that's here. All right, let's start again from the top. Change the blend mode to linear dodge, add, and check dither to make the gradient more smooth and decrease the opacity to 30, all right? And the gradient from black to white is okay like that. Let's just reverse it when the black is on the left side, right here, and change the style to reflect it. There you go. And I'll see it here. And decrease the scale to 70%. There we go. You see there's a bit shiny like effect here. And now as a last effect, let's add a pattern overlay here. And let's choose a golden embossed pattern that's here all right 
Okay, and that's it. Okay, and let's increase the scale to 120%. And that's it for the blending options. And we can hide the effects we don't use. So let's click here and click delete hidden effects. Now only the effects we use are shown here. Okay, and click OK. And now you see there are all the effects we added to the layer. And you see now that the lines are a bit too fine, too sharp. And because we know that in cloth, there's still a bit more noise here, it's more rippled. So to do that, we go up here to filter, to distort, and ripple. There you go. And when this here pops up, it's normal because text content is a so-called vector content and it can't be just edited with regular filters like that. So it has to convert it to a smart object or we rasterize it. But if you rasterize it, we can't edit the text content again. So let's convert it into a smart object. There you go. All right. And then we see here, here, these, let's zoom here. There you go. They're a bit here. You see that? But this is too much, so let's decrease it. Let's choose minus 70% and the size small. All right, and I click OK. It's now not so fine, it makes it look more realistic because of the cotton material. All right, and that's it. We have now our golden embossed text effect on a cloth material. I hope you liked it and it helped you to get better in Photoshop. I appreciate likes and comments below and, and don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.